Hello, my name is Dr. Raymond Coe, and welcome to this mini video on flexible urethropyloscopy and lasering a kidney stone. This operation is carried out for a stone that is in the kidney itself, and the stone is mostly located around the bend, needing a flexible instrument to get to it. The surgery is usually performed under a general anaesthetic. The cystoscopy is carried out to examine the bladder. A small catheter is then inserted into the opening to allow the guide wires to be introduced into the kidney. A ureteric access sheath is inserted. Over one of the guide wires, a narrow flexible instrument called a urethropyloscope is introduced and directed into the kidney to the stone. This particular stone is located in the lower pole of the kidney and needs to be repositioned into the upper pole using a fine basket. A very fine laser fibre is then deployed from the end of the scope and the stone is fragmented into stone-like pieces. A retrograde pilogram, which is a dye test carried out at the end of the procedure, is done to ensure that there is good drainage out of the kidney. A temporary double J stent on a string tether is inserted to allow the sand-like stone particles to pass in the ensuing days. The stent will be removed in the office after a few days and the treatment is now completed. More specific and detailed written information can be found on my website. 